For tens of thousands of years, humans lived with roughly the same tools and technologies. And then almost overnight, we rocketed into an era of planes, smartphones, computers, and space travel. So, what happened? Several big factors played into this acceleration, building upon each other and creating a snowball effect that pushed innovation to unprecedented speeds. The invention of science as a method. The birth of the scientific method during the Renaissance was perhaps the most important trigger. Before this time, knowledge and explanations were often based on tradition, mythology, or philosophical speculation. There was a lot of valuable knowledge out there, but no systematic way to test ideas, refine them, and build upon them. Thinkers like Galileo, Copernicus, and Newton helped establish a new way of thinking, where ideas were tested through observation, experimentation, and mathematics. Once people began to approach questions scientifically, they could make new discoveries faster and more reliably than ever before. The result was a knowledge engine that became self-sustaining. With each new discovery, scientists could refine their methods, ask better questions, and make even more significant discoveries. In a way, science supercharged our ability to accumulate knowledge, making each generation's discoveries a foundation for the next. The Printing Press and the Spread of Knowledge The invention of the printing press by Gutenberg in the mid-15th century was revolutionary in spreading knowledge. Before this, books were hand-copied and extremely rare, which limited access to information to a select few. But with the printing press, books became accessible to a much larger audience. Knowledge could spread quickly, which created a kind of feedback loop. New ideas spread, inspired others, and led to even more ideas. This democratization of knowledge was crucial. It allowed people across different parts of the world to collaborate indirectly, building upon each other's work and generating a shared intellectual momentum. The Industrial Revolution and Mechanization Then came the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries, which was all about harnessing energy, first from water and then from coal and steam. This revolution wasn't just about machines, but about a completely new way of organizing work, materials, and labor. Machines replaced manual labor in many cases, which meant products could be made much faster and in much larger quantities. As industrial methods spread, so did the economy's capacity to fund more ambitious projects and take on bigger challenges. This period also brought advancements in infrastructure, like railroads and steamships, which made transportation faster and cheaper. The ability to move goods, ideas, and people around the world led to new collaborations, international markets, and a rapid increase in innovation. Communication took another giant leap forward with the telegraph, telephone, radio, and, eventually, the internet. These technologies allowed ideas to move even faster, shrinking the world and connecting minds that otherwise might never have interacted. When the internet came along in the late 20th century, it created a massive shared repository of knowledge that anyone with access could tap into, learn from, and contribute to. Suddenly, a researcher in India could instantly read the latest paper published in the US, or a student could watch lectures from world-renowned scientists online. Over time, society became more complex, and so did people's roles within it. As economies grew and technologies advanced, we could afford for people to specialize more deeply in narrow fields of study or types of work. This meant that individuals could build up deep expertise in specific areas like medicine, chemistry, or engineering without needing to worry about survival or everyday necessities. Specialization allowed people to make very specific advancements, which could then connect with advancements in other specialized fields to produce entirely new technologies. Unlike many resources, knowledge isn't depleted when it's used. In fact, it often grows. Each generation builds on the knowledge of those before, and the more we know, the more we're able to discover. This accumulation of knowledge has led to exponential growth, especially in fields like computing, where Moore's Law, the observation that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles approximately every two years, has driven an explosive increase in computing power and capacity. Faster, smaller, and cheaper computers enabled new kinds of research and development that simply weren't possible before. Finally, we're now in an age where collaboration happens across borders, cultures, and languages. Globalization has enabled countries to share resources, ideas, and expertise like never before. International collaboration on projects, from space exploration to medical research, brings diverse minds together to tackle problems. This creates an incredibly rich environment for innovation, as scientists, engineers, and thinkers from all over the world can contribute unique perspectives and knowledge. A snowball effect of innovation. All of these factors work together to create a kind of positive feedback loop. Each advancement in science, communication, and infrastructure accelerates the next. This compounding effect is why we've seen more technological progress in the last few centuries than in the rest of human history. Now, we're advancing so fast that it's hard to keep up with the changes. 
In a sense, it's a unique moment in human history, where each generation not only benefits from the knowledge of the past, but also contributes to an accelerating cycle of discovery. So the reason for this explosion in technological progress isn't any one factor, but a combination of scientific, social, economic, and technological forces that all reinforce each other. It's as if humanity reached a critical mass of knowledge, resources, and interconnectedness that has allowed us to achieve things once thought impossible, like reaching the moon, eradicating diseases, and connecting billions of people instantly across the globe. And as technology and knowledge continue to grow, who knows what's next? What do you think? Share your thoughts below, and thanks for watching.